There's news from Ari, the new Sky Panel X. This is a Cinedy Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Welcome from IBC 2023. I'm here at the Ari booth with Ben. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Also very well. It's day three and we still keep going strong. But we still haven't talked about one of the most interesting announcements of the show, which is your new Sky Panel X. Let's take a step, a step back first. I mean, the, the original Sky Panel has been in the market for a while. Um, you know, like, what was the thought behind redesigning it? Well, um, this has been a very much anticipated fixture for the lighting industry. They were talking about, about um, adjusting the Sky Panel, doing something with the Sky Panel for so long, right? We, there, there is a main reason why we didn't do it before. And the reason is that we protect the investment of our users, right? If we will do a very small adjustment and doing IP rated fixture before, that was not really adding more value apart from that, that was not multiplying the value, uh, then our users will say, okay, who is going to want the old sky panels, right? And not the new ones. So that's why the X. We wanted to multiply the value with the new one, right? We wanted to to make something that does not only do the IP rating thing, which is what many, many users were asking for, but it's also checking many other boxes. So what we are doing here is improving the low-end dimming, even better color science, which is difficult, but we have a six-color engine right now, integrated ballast, integrated CRMX, uh, more two Ethernet ports, daisy chain for the power, um, eight pixels. So we are, we are working a lot on these check boxes that all these users told us in this year and a half journey with the users to understand what should be improved in the S60. But then we bring many other things on top. What was one of the most difficult things to improve in your opinion? Like, you know, like one of the user demands that was not so easy to fix? Well, the checking the boxes of, 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 of the sky panel uh, to, to improve it, to make it evolve, was not that difficult. It was difficult, but we were starting from scratch. What it will be really, really difficult is to try to redesign the S60, right? To just do an S60 on asteroids or anything like that. This will be very difficult. So, but we started with a platform from scratch. This is how it works. We just, in the brainstorming session, we, we just thought, okay, how, how do we start from the beginning? What is the type of diodes that we should use for the, for the mission, for the vision that we have? But the most difficult thing I would say by far was this guy here, the hyper optics. So um, one thing is to deliver hard light or have multi-diode hard light like the stage lighting guys do with the washers, right? This is not nothing new about, about that. But the difficult thing is to make this multi-diode efficiency, which is great for LED, make work as a one single beam that can develop in the distance, right? That can give you a lot of luxes, but still be used as a proper a point source light emulation, right? A, a rounded beam out of a rectangular shape uh, that can be shaped or widened or modified the way you want. This was the most difficult part and even more difficult since we want to have it scalable, right? We want to build uh, blocks. How could we make that this optical technology works also when you're adding fixtures to it? And and yeah, not easy, but but doable. This is the, the I think, the shocking moment for everyone when they come here to say, well, we want to see if it's true. If you can make a rectangular, out of a rectangular shape fixture, one singular beam, and if it works in a vertical fixture with a maxi brute size, if you can still have a, a circular beam. But it's basically this accessory that does that, right? That the optics inside this. Correct. Um, the idea from the very beginning was that we should have a native soft light, and a native hard light. We should not try to make a soft light out of a hard light, which is doable. You have options in the market that, that they are doing that, but it's already done. And why going there? Plus, it has advantages, but it cannot really be used as a, as a proper hard light, right? So that's why we have these two options, these two ideas of when we do the soft light, we just do it natively, and the diodes should be able to do that. That's why we have the X21 dome or the S60 adapted to do that. And I tell you, this is the, the big thing for the rental owners, right? Because they wanted that the Nexus Sky Panel is completely compatible, fully compatible with the accessories that they have because they have thousands of soft boxes, egg crates, honeycombs, band doors. And that's why we made the S60 adapter to, to make, make possible that all these accessories fit. And then the hyper optic is an extra attachment. So it's just three attachments they can choose and then if they don't want to use any of these three, and this was very interesting to learn from the gaffers as well during the development process, it's a very, very interesting open face source light for bouncing. 
uh, because you know you have 51,000 lumen out of the open phase diodes. Now they are protected, so you it, it can be operated under the rain completely open phase, and then you can you know bounce from a very close distance and simulate this very subtle sunlight on the sunset or so. So when you use it open phase, what's the angle of the light beam? With the open phase, it's 120 degree, so it's very open and. Uh, we also thought about the concerns that can have with all the stray light going in all directions, it could be annoying. That's why we have with UP Choice accessories especially made for the sky panel X. And one of them is the uh, Snapbox Snoot, that is just a Snoot that is foldable. So it's just a bag, we have it here as well, that you can put it over the optic, over the dome or over the open face. And when you have it over the open face, if you have it on the video as well, on the release, it's very nice because you don't have all the problems of the stray light on the sides but you have a massive amount of power going in all directions, 120 degrees, and bouncing in very, very large surfaces. Tell me the philosophy behind you know, the RGB. There's a lot of, there has been a lot of discussion online. There's RGB WW and there's RGB what, ACL. Um, so Ari is, is going with the latter, and why, why is that? Well, this is a super interesting uh, debate. Uh, when we were developing the fixture, many, many users told me, look, don't do it six color. Do it RGB white, because if you do it six color, it will not be bright. So it will be better colors, six color, right? It will be perfect skin tones and so on. We know closer to the sunlight, full spectrum. We know, but it will not be bright. So just make it bright. I prefer to make it bright. And but now we are showing to the world that you can have 4,800 luxes at 10 meters, which is bloody bright for an LED, and still have the six color. And you know, Ari is color. That's what Ari is about. I think that's what the community expects from Ari to deliver. Uh, we are setting the, the bar there on color, I think, and, and also in dimming, right? So we wanted to have all these possibilities show as a challenge to ourselves that it is possible with LED technology to be efficient in luxus, to, be, to have more punch and long throw with the six color engine, and that it's possible to keep all these advantages when you are very goal very low in the dimming. So when you go from 1% to 0%, which is the typical thing that everyone says, LED cannot do that. Well, we believe that Sky Panel X can do it. Really cool. Let's talk about pricing availability. I think you also, the initial price of the original Sky Panel was a little bit higher than this one, right? If, as far as I remember. Yeah, well, it depends on the format that, you are, that you're looking for, right? We have four packages here, plus an extra auction. The, the extra auction is a la carte, right? They can buy any item that they want. They can buy just the lamp head with the dome or just the yoke, whatever you need. But then we have four packages. One is the X21 soft light package. That's the one that you are referring to. This is slightly, probably slightly lower in price than that what you have on the, on the S60. Depends on the region and so on. Uh, while then we have the X21 hardened soft light package, which is the one that includes the optic. And this will be in the same ball game pricing more or less as the S60, which I know many people is, is very impressed and does not really believe it because I've been looking at the forums as well, people saying it's ten thousand dollars as well, not at all. And the reason why we don't go in that direction is because we we really want to be a company that is on the independent filmmaking uh, scenarios as well. We want to be in the events, we want to be in the corporate uh, environments, we want to do TV, we want to, to have access to all these places where they were telling us, look, I would love to use an Ari fixture, I just can't, can't afford it. So that's why we wanted to, to, to keep this level, open up, be in the Ari that everyone wants, uh, you know, to be the Ari that is open, that is, that is transparent, that is open a community around. And that's why we're keeping the prices at this level. The last two packages that I didn't mention is the X22, which is a modular 2x2, and the X23, which is a 2x3. So please reach to your sales representatives to, to know more about the pricing. All right, I think we, that was pretty comprehensive. Thank you, Ben. And Thank you very much. have a good rest of the show. Have a great show. Thank, Thank you. you. And stay tuned for more from IBC 2023. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.